Hi, welcome to Profiles in Grace, a series of short interviews with some very special people, residents of Advent Christian retirement communities. I'm Larry Knowles, president of ACRC, and we've created this series to share with you something that we enjoy every day, the company of and the life stories of seniors whose care we have been entrusted with. Their stories are poignant, reflecting the achievements, the joys, the inevitable strains, and the wisdom of years lived long and well. We hope that they foster for you the same regard that we, whose mission it is to serve them, have for these living jewels. If you'd like to know more about the mission of ACRC through news and updates, or if you'd like to become a partner with us through your support, just reply to this email with which the video came. Thanks for taking time to watch and listen. Retirement is a word that Charlotte Hall never seems to have grasped. But that makes sense in view of the life she lived prior to the years when people supposedly slow down. Charlotte's life has been defined by talent in the service of others. Recruited out of high school to serve as house mother in a Florida orphanage, she sought to enhance her social work skills by entering college in 1944. There she met her future husband, Winslow, who was studying for the pastorate. Their marriage would mean a career shift for Charlotte as they became partners in ministry in parishes throughout the Northeast. I started in college in 1939. After my last year, when I was a senior, was when Winslow came out to school. I graduated in June, and I went down to Dowling Park, Florida to work with the children there. But then Winslow was given an opportunity and asked me if I'd come back. So we, I, came, I came back up and started working in the library as their first assistant librarian. And then we were married in June and we went down to uh, Columbia, South Carolina for him to begin his first pastorate. But beyond the many responsibilities of a pastor's wife and a mother, Charlotte's skills helped her flourish in her own right. She obtained a master's degree in education and served as a teacher and librarian in several public schools throughout the shared ministry career with her husband. I began teaching in Ashland, Maine while he was, he was the pastor there. I attended evening classes at the University of Maine towards uh, earning a, a library degree, a master's degree. I was already a mother. We had, in between, we had had two daughters, and so I was a mother, a pastor's wife, and a student and teacher. <laughs> I've always said all my years of teaching, I loved it so that if I hadn't had to have the money, I would have done it just for the pure joy of doing it. After moving to our Vernon campus, the halls seemed to work as hard as they did before retirement, each providing a variety of critical volunteer roles for years. Even after the loss of her husband and partner in 2006, Charlotte has continued to teach a weekly class, illustrate activity calendars, and facilitate bulk mailings. Being in her 90s doesn't slow her down or change her outlook on life. Her small physical stature is complemented by an affect of humility, cheer, and hard work, making hers a true profile in grace in this community. God's given me the privilege now to continue working and the opportunity to continue helping others and working for others has meant so much to me. It's been a wonderful life, and as long as God wants me to carry on and do things, I'm going to do it. 